Uh, spending $1.1 billion for Tumblr, that was last week. This week, Yahoo is reportedly bidding for Hulu, and the price is somewhere in the neighborhood of $600 million to $800 million. And Jason, uh, this is uh, unlike Tumblr, where they're just essentially bidding against themselves. If, in fact, Yahoo is making these bids, they're bidding against the likes of DirecTV, Time Warner Cable, some private yeah. equity groups. First and foremost, do you think this is a good move for Yahoo? Well, I mean, we certainly are watching Marissa Meyer's strategy unfold before our very eyes. I mean, it's blatantly obvious now that that she is is acquiring everything that she can in order to create that that ecosystem for Yahoo that's that sort of you know got people wrapped into their Facebook or Google environments. Well, uh, a couple years ago, Sarah, I was fortunate enough to be able to interview him for a, uh, an article that I was writing that uh, ended up not running. So uh, you know, I spent several hours with him, basically when it was just him and you know one or two other employees. So it was really at the beginning of of Tumblr's existence, and uh, you know he, he's definitely a fascinating guy, a total iconic class uh, and a out-of-the-box unconventional thinker and I think that's why he's gotten so far well he clearly has gone far selling his company for more than a billion bucks but can a person like that an iconoclast a maverick an original thinker survive in any corporate environment let alone the corporate environment that is Yahoo right now look uh, let's stipulate Eric that uh, I don't know what the corporate culture is at Yahoo. I have a Yahoo email account. I've never met Marissa Mayer, uh, so I don't know what you know, sweet nothing she has whispered in David's <laughs> ear. Uh, I, I do know that they are trying to say all the right things. I mean, that you know, that the, the famous press release about quote unquote not screwing things up and, and, and leaving things as they are. They're they're allowing Tumblr to stay in their offices, uh, you know, on whatever it is, East 21st Street, and allowing David to run it, you know, not from California. A lot of people when they think about the future, whether how cohesive Yahoo and Tumblr are going to be, they think about the culture of Tumblr. It's different than other social media sites. Tell us a little bit about that and as it relates to their founders. Well, so, I mean, all I remember, you know, when I, when I spent time with David, he was, he, first of all, he was very enamored of Steve Jobs and, uh, you know, in the sense that Steve stuck uh, to his vision, and I think David has stuck to his vision of what Tumblr is going to be and what Tumblr is all about. You know, he hasn't larded it up with advertising, but that, of course, now becomes an issue for how do they get a return on their investment. But his big concern always was, I don't want to grow this business too quickly. I don't want there to be too many people. I'm not sure I can manage this with a lot of people. And he's kept it relatively small. I think, you know, now he's got maybe 170 employees. And so, you know, He's obviously been very, very careful and very, very dedicated to the way he built this. And it was extremely successful. And it's a beautiful site. And, and a lot of people are totally devoted to it, which is why everybody freaked out when it went down in 2010. But you know how he integrates that into Yahoo, that is a supreme challenge. Marissa Meyer's plan to turn Yahoo around may involve Hollywood. Bloomberg News has learned Yahoo has submitted an offer for online TV service Hulu just ahead of this week's deadline for first round bids. Meyer spoke about the importance of video during the Wired Business Conference earlier this month. Video is an amazing format. Uh, and I do think it's really important. And you can see that it's important across all of Yahoo's properties. People want to share videos. They want to email them around on mail. They want to search for videos. Yahoo's Hulu bid comes just days after Yahoo reached a deal to buy blogging network Tumblr for $1.1 billion. But this time, Yahoo is facing stiff competition from not one, not two, but at least six other bidders from all over the media, private equity, and entertainment world. The winner gets Hulu, a service currently owned by Comcast, Disney, and News Corp that boasts more than 4 million paying subscribers and revenue that surged 65% to $695 million last year. <laughs> Other than through Hocus Pocus. No, Hocus Pocus. If you were to pull that chart out longer, you'd see that the stock has gotten pummeled over the past seven years or so. It's lost half its value. Revenues... We've run out of pixels, I think, uh, okay. so that's why we Re couldn't have that. Revenues are back to 2005 levels, so clearly okay. the company has underperformed for years. What you'll have, what you can envision a few years down the road, is this company that's much smaller in size. Mm. Forget the days of the internet giant going up mm. against the likes of Google and Facebook. You've got a, small, a smaller or a mid-sized company, let's say, that's generating about $900 million a year in mm. free cash over the, over the next couple of years. 
How much would you pay for that? Well, at least 10 times free cash flow. That's a $9 billion company. Yeah, they do. I mean, the, the great, the, let's go through the great things about this um, company right now. Massive online audience of 700 million visitors per month. A gigantic I mean, th audience. Th that is truly gigantic. And that, an audience in the media business is what you want. Number of unique visitors on the rise. So it's not just the same right. people. It's not just Jack Howe going there every five minutes. <laughs> um, and the Alibaba deal uh, closing, likely to close mid-November. And like you say, if they use that money to buy back stock and can have a little bit of organic growth with their sales. It's the sales of ads I, that I matters. Th I right. think once these assets are sold, people will look at this thing and they'll say, hey, wait a second. We need to re rethink the math in this company. This is an enormously profitable company for its size once it gets down closer to that four to five billion dollar size. People look at this and they say, hey, Yahoo isn't going to catch up to Google and search. Yahoo will never be what Facebook so, is in social So how many, social how many shares of this matter. company are you buying then? <laughs> well, I, I, I don't buy companies that I write about. I mean, that's part of the, the deal working okay. here. But I, I tell you, the, the person I think this is appropriate for is someone who doesn't mind a little bit of risk. There are certainly okay. less risky stocks out there. But someone who wants to take a risk on something and that could move up quickly in, in, in price over the next few years, Plenty that could go wrong with this could be a recession. Maybe the sales won't go through oh, as planned. I think there will be a recession. Or Yahoo could blow cash on something foolish. But barring those things, I think some serious value will be unlocked through these asset sales. Shares of Yahoo were up slightly this morning when we came in the studio. When you see something like this, does the potential, I mean, if Tumblr works out, if they go ahead and they win the bidding for Hulu and that plays out for them, this could be the optimal time to buy this stock. It could be trading at an incredible bargain right now. Well, let's be clear, Chris. The optimal time to buy this stock was last year about this same time. <laughs> Before Marissa Mayer was CEO. Yeah. Yeah. She's had a hell of a rookie year, yeah, by the way. She really has. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I think she's rookie of the year. I think if you're a shareholder, you've got to really be enthused. I mean, you've got to be very encouraged by this and feel like, wow, I'm, I am holding on to my shares because I'm so excited where she's trying to take this company. If you don't own shares and you want to buy them, I think it's it's probably worth worth a dabble. I mean, I, I wouldn't you know back up the truck on a full position, but I think if you're looking to get started, I, it, to me this is one of the coolest stories of the year so far, and I'm I'm enjoying watching it play out. I like watching the story. The stock's in my too hard pile. 